measure the light correctly, can you just um, shut the shutter and uh, we set the exposure time that we want to have and the f-stop that we want to have and then everything is in principle ready so Introduction to the, the the most wonderful technical camera in the very wide world. <clears throat> it is it, it was conceived by a, a Swiss guy named Karl Koch in the late 1940s, and he had an idea that he he wanted a camera with with you know with with a. a variation format, uh, negative format, and he wanted this to be, um, you know, for use in the studio, in the industry, in the nature, in the architecture, and in the reproduction. And S-E-N-R-R is the acronym for all this. That's why this camera is called SINAR. Because of Studio, Industrie, Natur, Architektur und Reproduktion. Mm. Now you know. And this is very, very important because, you know, the, 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 it's a, it's the Sinar, the camera, now there is no camera here yet. But the most important thing to start this camera is this tube. Right? And the tube can be of different lengths. This is the standard length that comes with the Sina camera. Yeah? And, um, of course, you know, you, you can have uh, this wonderful uh, tripod uh, thing, which is also necessary because you have to line up and water up everything. But in order to have this become a camera now, you need a, you need a front part and you need a rear part. The front part, which is uh, this one, <laughs> uh, will carry the, 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 the lens and the rear part, which is then in four times five inches, mm -hmm. will carry the back screen and the film holder. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And you always have to set it up. Chuk. I'll set it up for you now so that you see how it works. Mm. Yeah, this is the front part. So I'll go on with the thingy. And then the rear part, you have to unscrew this. Yes. And then the rear part comes on. It goes in like that. Right, and this goes on again. Just a moment. This, this is Swiss precision. Precision, you know? it's like a Swiss watch. And then, then, then all the, the front part and the, and the rear part will now be movable. Mm -hmm. So we just arrest it for the moment. Oops. Right. And then the next thing that, that we have to do is put. Put it on bellows. <laughs> yes, now I have to stand up a little bit. Yes. So, this is the back part. And this is the front part. And since it is precision, it needs to be the real thing. You see the bellows now? Mm -hmm. Sure. And then, uh, because now this is the part for the four time by five. This is the matte screen. Mm -hmm. It goes in like that. 
and check that it is fastened. Yeah. And now comes a lens. Mm. See? And it goes in like it, you know, the, the all these lens boards, that, that's typical. All the view cameras like this, all the technical cameras like this have a lens board. The Lienhof is slightly different, slightly smaller. This is 14 by 14 centimeters. Mm -hmm. And it has the lens, as you can see. That's the normal lens now, just to show you. And I snap it tight like that. Now I have a camera. Yeah. Now I have a camera and I can open the shutter and I can, you know, I can, I can expose it. And so forth and so forth. And this, 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 this is the, this is the uh, senile camera, and and you can tilt. The, what what is so special about these cameras is, of course, that everything you do can be corrected. You can correct it this way, and you can correct it this way, like that, and you can also. Correct it. Just one. This way. Up. Like that. Or down. Not only that, you can also correct uh, the, the, the rear part. Up and down. So there's, you can always correct these things. Not only that. You can also correct it so that the rear part goes like this. Uh, you see? Yes. Can you follow me? Yeah. And of course, the front part can also go like that. Like that. Check, 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 check. And not only that, but it can also go like this. So there is. There is, there is no limit to what you can correct in, in, the, in all these planes. See? And that is the, the whole idea about these cameras, because then, then you can, then you can uh, correct all the perspectives, all, you know, you have seen all these uh, pictures of, of tall buildings, eh? and they look like that. Yeah, and they don't look like that. Yeah? And this is because you, you take the, the front part of the, of, the, of the camera and you, you push it up because, you see, and that is, this is the very, very, very important thing. Mm -hmm. The lens can reproduce a larger circle than the negative is. Mm -hmm. So if the negative is 4 by 5 or 4 by 5, you know, the, 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 the projection that you do on this screen can be regulated far beyond the 4 by 5 inches. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but you can also do all these, these things like, if, if anything is like that, you can make it look like that. And not only that, but, you know, as this is a long lens, it has a short depth of field, right? So, what you can do is, you can do like that, and then the, the, the lower part, the nearest part of the negative, which is closer, can be made to look sharp like the distant part, which is on the upper part of your negative, right? And this is the whole idea about these cameras. Yeah? Right. That's very, very important. And you always... Because the, the, these things are totally independent on the, 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 how long the lens is. This is 150 millimeter. This, this is more or less normal for 4x5. Four, four uh, you can have longer lenses, then you just, you know, you just pull it out, what you need. And you can have shorter lenses, and then you, <laughs> you just push it together. And, and because... This is all independent, and the bellow will, you know, follow suit, so that's no problem. And if you have very short lenses, you can always have a wide-angle bellow. <laughs> it's like that, right? So, which is for very short lenses, like, like the ninety millimeter. Mm -hmm. uh, this, 
This is a, and all these lenses, they are symmetric in design. And, and common to them all is that they have the shutter in the middle. And, and, and the, you know, they, they, you can always unscrew these things. And, and, and the shutter with these lenses is always like this. You see the shutter? Yes. Check. And and um, this is typical. I mean, you can you can buy these shutters loose, no lens, and all the lenses are always in two parts, and you screw them apart and you put them together, and it's always well, it's always like that. You see the front part, the rear part, and I can unscrew this lens now and I have it all like that. And it goes like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Now that is the that is the cinema. Now this is the four by five version. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, it's no problem with the Sinai to have bigger formats. You just put on another rear screen. This is the third, this is the five by seven or 13 by 18. Mm -hmm. it, it will have a different bellow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and it's huge, you know? And, and, and you can always put these things uh, either like that or in portrait format. You just take it away and then you put it, you, 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 you turn it 90 degrees, mm -hmm. right? And, and, but it goes on to the same front part mm -hmm. of the camera. So the front part is always the same thing, uh, independent on the back part, because this is, this is then the holder for the film and for the, for the matte screen. And if this is not enough for you, you can always have an eight by ten. Wow! I, this, this is this is the this is the king of formats. Yes. This is really really big, and, and you know the bellow like that. Yeah. And the same thing with the mat screen. You can always turn it uh, uh, in in wide perspective or standing perspective. And and the uh, Negative format is uh, 8 by 10 inches, 20 by 25 centimeters. Mm -hmm. And of course, the lenses that goes on with this will be bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. yeah? So uh, the standard lens for a uh, 5 by 7 or 13 by 18 would be the, the 210 millimeters which is a wonderful portrait format for the 4 by 5 inches. Mm -hmm. huh? This is a Sumahan, typical, it's, it's classic uh, Schneider. Yeah? And uh, a little bit bigger, this is, a, this is a 240 millimeter. This would be a nice portrait lens for 13 by 18 or 5 by 7 inches. And uh, the standard lens, the standard lens for the 8 by 10 is this thing. <laughs> yeah, this is the this is the Sumar 360 millimeter. That's the standard lens for 8 by 10 or 18 by 24 uh, centimeters. Yeah, you and and the thing is that you can always put these lenses onto the smaller formats. This would be the same as a 90 millimeter on. On, on, a, on a Leica mm -hmm. in four by five, yeah, and of course you can you can go up and down and it, it has a huge circle, and it you know it's it's a big lens, and uh, look, and uh, oh, here's that. Yeah. And, oh. Anyway, this this had a shutter which was jammed. 
But you know, since everything is is uh, mechanical and not electronic, it you just put pull it apart and and re- and, and wash it and, and and lubricate it and put it together again, and then it works. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's always like that. But that's also typical me. Very strange that it doesn't. Oh well. Anyway. So that's the 360. Um, one of my favorites is the, the 90 millimeter. You see this lens? Yes. This is the Super Angulon. That's a very classical design by Schneider. You can get them in 31 millimeters for the Leica still. But it's the same, it's the same, um, the same design and uh, let me open it. Let me open it. 12.6. Yes. You can see that? Yes. That was one second. And it has a huge wide angle, of course. This wide angle has so much space that you can use it even on the five by seven so so 13 by 18 centimeters negatives mm-hmm. and it has a has a, a, a wide angle of yeah, 110 degrees or something on that and, and slightly smaller on the four by five but it's it's super for architecture of course it's a wonderful lens mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah. So, and of course, with all these cameras, you will have film cassettes. Check, check, check. Very, very important. And here is where this film goes in. This is the four by five. It's the four by five. This is the the five by seven or thirteen times eighteen. You see? Mm-hmm. And this is the mammoth. This, <laughs> mm-hmm. this is gross. Look at that. It dwarfs the other format. This is 8 by 10, so 20 by 25 centimeters. And it's all in one camera. So you can imagine how, how unbelievably universal this camera is. And, uh, you know, with nice things you can do. Tilt and you can shift and you can you know you all do all these sort of things and it's typical Sina it, it never wears out it's like a Leica you know it always holds there's nothing wrong with it never but of course you have to to to, to, to keep it in good shape and that's fine I'm sweating fine now if you want to make macro on these cameras. No problem. Because you just plug the tube. <laughs> you put this, you take this off, or you 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 can also do it the other way. You can uh, let's see if I want it, it's the front part, back part. Yes, and turn off this. See, but with the Sinar, you have to be careful. Um, if you, if someone is trying to sell you a Sinar with this red thing, don't buy it if it does not have a black thing, because this is only this is only for the prolongation. Now I take off this one. Can you still see me? Yes. Yes. Sure. Right. You see, this is this is the standard thing. This is the prolongation because this screw goes in there. Like that. And then I can you still see me? Yes. Very good. 
the screen. And right. Right. Now I put in this one again. And then I can start prolonging the pleasure, you see? Whoa. And if this is not long enough for me, no problem, because I can I can put in this thing here, which is a, 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 a an in, intermediate frame. Yeah? So now I, I can put this in here instead and then put on another bellow and put this rear piece in. And then I have a fantastic macro thing. Yeah? And, and of course, then to this macro, since we don't have an automatic camera, uh, we will have to start calculating. And it's called the, the bellow factor. You see how long, yes. <laughs> how long this thing is? Uh, then we have the bellow factor, and the, we, we do that with, with a ruler, and we see how far is it from the matte screen to the lens. Okay, now we know that the, the focal length is so and so and so, so we have to um, give it more light. Huh? So in, if, if we have it 300 millimeters, it means that we have a, a 2 to 1, right? Which means that we have a factor of this and that and that and that. And when we have that, we can always calculate the right exposure. Okay. Of course, it's possible to put in the light meter here, but come on. No, 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 you do this by, but in the right way. So now you have seen the scene, right? Yes. This is not a miniature camera. The Leica is the miniature camera. But this is, this is what all the, the professional photographers would use for studio work, for industrial work, for nature work, for architecture and reproduction. You know? And it all happened. This camera, this is called the Sinar Norma. Mm -hmm. Norma. I don't know if it has to do some, with something normal or if it has to do with Norma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, which is a name, of course. Um, I don't know if it has to do with this or that, but it was a camera that came on the market in 1947, the year I was born. Yeah? And, and it, they, they made this model up to 1957 or 60 or something like that. Yeah? And then, then they started modifying the Sinar and it is very, very sophisticated and you can still get all these Sinar models. And common to all of them is that you can still use the same thing. It's compatible. You don't need to change anything. Well, the, the, the fore and the rear um, can be different, but the, the main thing is that the, the lenses can still go in and, and, and the bellows can be used. See? So it's extremely versatile. And of course, nowadays, since everything has gone digital, mm -hmm. you can pick up these things for a song. Awesome. And they're absolutely fantastic. <laughs> so now you know everything about the scene of yeah. Katrina. Thank you. <laughs> Katie, and uh, how many seconds or minutes you need for one shot? Uh, that depends. Um, if you have it set up, which takes half an hour, <laughs> oh. so you come early, you come early. But then, of course, um, when when you are ready, you just put in the film cassette. Um, like that. And then uh, you have made everything here that it is ready. And... Um, and then, of course, normally I would, I, would, I would work with one of these. This is a very important thing. And you, you put it in here. And uh, then, of course, you can, you know, like that. 
and that's fine. And and then then of course you have to focus everything. You have to focus with it with an open um, shutter because otherwise you don't see anything. And then you focus on this matte screen. And when you have focused everything and everything is fine and your model is still sitting in the same place, which is very important because the, the depth of field is like that, then then of course you, you say finished. Then, then, and then you shut the, 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 the shutter so that you don't have any light coming in. And you take out the, the black screen, right? And you say smile, Ching! right? And then the picture is taken and then since this was white now, you have exposed this picture. You turn it around because it's black. You put it in. Right? And then you take out this. And you turn it around. And the mold is still in the same place. Yeah? Fine. And then you take out the... You turn the shutter up. And you take out this and you say smile. Yes? And shook like that. That's it. Voila. And you take out the cassettes. Clock. It, it, it's all very, very, very simple. And and these these are standard things. The thickness is standard for all these cassettes, so you can't go wrong. Because the the, 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 the focal plane is of course extremely important that it is the same thing. Eh? Because the focal plane is here. It's here where the matte screen is. Matte screen, this is the focal plane of the picture. So that's very, very important. Right. So, and then we take out this, and this will be now developed. For safety, we, we use these things so that we don't open the dark slide inadvertently. And that's it. That's very simple. Now it's on only to develop the film and make the negative and eventually put it in the enlarger. We don't have an enlarger, but we have a very good scanner, so that's no problem. Thank you.